Gabriella, this is Wally. Hi. Hello. Isn't he absolutely beautiful? Carlos told me a lot about you. I hope not too much. How do you like the university? It's fine, if you dig universities. Listen, Carla, I'm going to split now. I'll see you later. Oh, baby, listen, will you move some of your gear out of that spare bedroom? Gabrielle's going to stay with us for the weekend. <laughs> Look at you, I don't want to be in any trouble. What trouble? No trouble. It'll be groovy. See you later. Later. Well, what do you think of him? Big boy. Boy or man, my dear, nature has decreed that the male, generally speaking, is larger and more muscular. So in that sense, he is physically stronger. But number wiser. You mean like a woman? Mm-hmm. I don't think there's any question about that. Women are better able to tolerate exposures to heat and cold, starvation, shock. And we're less susceptible to things like baldness, color blindness, skin cysts, stomach ulcers, heart attacks. That's a well-known fact that we women live longer than men. We got everything going. But I don't get it, Carla. You've got everything going. You've got looks, brains, money. Why a boy like Wally? Hey. Hey, you don't think I'm in love with that freshman, do you? <laughs> Wally's barely 18. He's fresh, unjaded, and kept. Mm -mm. No, I just give him a roof over his head, and put some money in his pocket every now and then, and kiss him goodnight. That's all. But you could have any man. I still do. It's just that there's this great excitement in being the lion instead of the lamb. The aggressor. The one who makes love for change. Carla, you sleep with him? All the time. Gabrielle. Gabrielle, don't you understand? You know, I'm not trying to cultivate a farm system or program a sex machine. I'm, I'm making love happen. Not absorbing it like some sponge or some clam that gets its kicks every now and then. It's beautiful. It's exciting. And it's the wildest kick I've ever had. Oh, and baby, I'm gonna share it all with you. I was talking to this guy. His sister works over at one of those massage parlors in Santa Monica. Well, it's an honorable profession. Yeah. Well, she's a part-time student, so she mm -hmm. just sits around and reads most of the time. Then these guys come in. Yeah. They get all turned on in the nude. Mm -hmm. Then they pay 40 bucks for a bath and a rub down. 40 bucks? Well, Wally, what the hell do you expect for 40 bucks? Personality and companionship? I don't know, but they ought to get something. <laughs> I mean, 40 bucks? We are all intoxicated with sexual desires. Puritanism is not around the corner. And Puritanism is not going to change our sexual behavior or the way we think. Or the way we feel, or the way we touch, or the way we taste. Yeah, what do you want to bet? Black or white, I guess we're all the same. Sometimes. But black girls have to work a little harder at it. You know something, honey? The sooner you realize that it's all wrapped up in the sex game we play, the better off you'll be. The better the body, the better the breaks. Got it? Why can't the joining of a man and a woman add up to something more than two? Because it never will. Because we either go topless or bottomless with a plastic object. And the sisters that participate, either for the buck or just to rip off the system, well, they, they betray you and me. You believe in women's lib? I believe in me, my body, my brains. Black is beautiful. You're beautiful. Take the Playboy Bunny, the one-night stand swinger, the, the who-needs-a-man radical femme, or the double-standard chauvinist male. Porno buyers and sellers, dirty books, filthy movies, God, they all add up to one great mechanical orgy, or the unpardonable thing of one person making love to himself. 